Okay, so what I'm doing is, uh, I'm hooking up my Xbox 360 right there to my computer, and I'm doing that using a, a capture, an external capture card called a Dazzle. I'm sure you've probably seen a video like this before, but, and it, what it does is you, you plug in like the yellow, yellow, red, and white into here, and then just goes to your computer after you install all the software and go capture it. But in order to have it going on your TV and your capture card, you have to split all the cables. That's why I have these. I got, I got six couplers. Those three four inch Y adapter audio cables. Um, six of these just male to male audio cables. Three foot is all you'll need depending on your setup, but you might want to get six feet, and um, each three foot will run you about five bucks, and this costs a hundred dollars, so yeah, you're going to need a, kind of a big wallet. This is uh, like a hundred, and it's all this stuff is uh, about fifty, so it's going to be about a hundred fifty bucks to do all this, but the results you get out of it are well worth it. Okay, so now I'll show you what you need to do. And I'll move this over here. Okay, so here's your video cable. And you take one of these Y adapters, plug it into your video, and then First, you need to put a coupler on it. A lot of people don't know these are called couplers. Put a coupler on it so it converts the male into female. In case you didn't know, female is the one that you plug something into, the male is the one with the little thing that you stick it in something, kind of like real life. And so you plug that in there. One of them goes to your TV, obviously, so you can see what you're doing. And then the other one from the video would go to your capture card. Put another coupler on it. Plug this in and then this one would go to your computer or your capture card and then just throw that over there. And then you do the same thing with your two audios and I'll do that. So um, as you can see I have the audio from the Xbox here and then just split the white audio, the left side split, and the video split, and I'm using black audio cables just because I don't need a high quality cable, so I just kind of cheaped out there, I didn't need an expensive cable, but if you want to go all out and buy an expensive cable, if you're looking for that quality, but I didn't need it. So now we have two of these, two pairs, and two pairs of video, or audio cables, but video is going through these. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to plug one, one set into my Dazzle. Gayest name ever, by the way. Dazzle. Then the other is going to go in my TV. And I usually plug these audios into my surround sound system just because yeah, but for educational purposes, I'll just plug it into my TV. So it'll be easier for you. The viewer. And after that, um, after this, I'll show you how to capture and compress. So, yeah. So, after you've installed the software, don't plug in the download to your computer until you've installed all the software. Just install the yellow disk. Can't really see because the lighting's horrible. The yellow disc is all you need. Don't need the red or the blue disc. And yes, there is a serial number. Darn. After that, just open up the um, 
studio launcher that comes with it. And uh, let me turn off my light so you can see better. Open up. You'll see two little things. Just click the, this one. Let me get my storage ready. And this, this will come up. You're gonna click uh, right here, capture. You'll see a little, right here it'll have, there's my Xbox and the things in my controller and you can see, it's actually a live feed, it's not like, it's pretty good quality. And also, here's my, it's not my TV, so you can see that it's running off both. That's my... And my headphones are plugged in, but it also plays back your audio on your speakers too. I don't think that doesn't matter. But yeah, after that, you just hit um, start capture. Name it whatever you want. Let's keep it video one for now. Cause... And then record, let's say, um, oh, this is not changing network settings. All of all, okay. Done with the capture. Hit stop capture. Obviously. And then it'll do that little loading bar. Then go over to edit. Once it's done loading. And I'll have like, these are little frames, kind of like the new iMovie, if you've seen that. Just do control. Control A to select all of them and drag it down here. Hit the space bar, it'll start playing back to you with audio. And just click make movie when you're done. File type. I do MP4 because I need to put this on my Mac and I added it on my Mac. Preset, medium, make sure this is all good. Hit create file. And then name it, save it wherever you want, hit OK. And they'll say rendering effects, titles, say writing frames, blah blah blah. And that's how you set up your Xbox to a capture card and capture video and then plug this into your video editor of choice and you're all good. Thanks for watching.